What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 23 of Onshape. Particularly for today, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, build one of our construction block sets that you should be doing in class anyways. And then on top of that, we're going to do an assembly. With that assembly, we're going to do our first multi-view drawing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do very specifically is talk through why I'm constructing things the way I am. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to construct that rectangular block and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in some dimensions here about the size of that block. I'm going to make a 3 inch by 3 inch square. Hit the green check mark and then go ahead and extrude this on up. And that height is 1.5 inches, I believe. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my next part. But I'm not just going to build it the way I did uh, you know, in real life, and then we drew it. What instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build that piece. So I'm gonna click on new sketch, this front plane, but then off to the side, right here. So right, right click view normal two, and I'm gonna build that cube. That was my next piece, and so that was just a cube, and its dimensions were uh, 1.5. By 1.5 square, hit green check mark, and then just extrude this on out. Uh, I believe this depth is 1.5 as well. We just made a 1.5 inch cube. Hit the green check mark, and we're looking good. Okay, and then the last piece, uh, we're gonna click on sketch, front plane, right click, hit view normal two. And what I'm gonna do is draw a line, make my triangle the best I can. And the dimension of here is going to be 1.5 inches for that part of the cube, that part of the triangle. And then I know this line is equal to that line. And so that makes my triangle for me. Now, I know there's a little bit of an overlap, but I'm not too concerned about that because what I can do is I can just make this part invisible while I'm working on this triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that back and this is 1.5 inches. So for this part, your parts are going to look different. Oh, let's try that again. Let's extrude this 1.5 inches. And so I made these parts pretty quickly because uh, two reasons. One, yours aren't gonna look the same as mine. And then also you should be pretty decent at building these structures on your own. If not, watch my earlier videos or shoot out to a comment section, ask for help, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on working through these parts. Instead, let's go and take these three parts into the assembly environment. We can see there's a little bit of overlap here, not really too concerned. Um, and so let's click on the plus sign, create assembly. And the reason I'm not too concerned is since each of those are individual parts, when I pull them in, let's pull that one in, okay. And the third part as well. I pulled in all three parts, I can now just move this out of the way. And so when it comes to part creation, not really too concerned about where the parts are in reference to that 3D dimension. Instead, we're just more concerned on is, is the part made correctly? And then when we go in the assembly environment, then we're gonna assemble it and do what we can. So I got my three parts. Now, since these are all stacked upon each other, nothing's spinning, we're just gonna use fastened mates. So I'm gonna click on fastened mate. We're gonna click on the top side of this and the bottom side of my cube. That's looking good so far. And then the last fasten mate would be the bottom of that triangle pyramid to the top of that. Hit the green check mark and now we're good. There we go. I've just stacked all three right on top of each other. Okay, where are we gonna go from here? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, now take this into our drawing environment. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign right here and I'm gonna create a drawing. Now what's gonna happen here is by default, all of these templates are gonna show up. So when you go into the engineering world, your drawing files help engineers talk to each other about what is this part, what are the dimensions of it, where does it fit in the design overall, and so by, because of that, your drawing sheet will have a specific, I would say, dimensions and specific procedures it will follow 
and we're just going to pick a very generic template for this time. In future videos, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own individual template that's got our school logo, and it's kind of just a personalized to what we want to do with it. But for now, we're just going to do the click on on shape at the top should be default, and we're just going to do the inch uh, template right here at the top. Click OK, and now we have our drawing environment. So there's a couple of interesting things that are going to happen here, and if we're not being uh, too paying too much close attention, we can start pulling in things that we really don't even want to need. And so for this first one, all we're going to pull in is this assembly right here and make our front, right, and top ISOs, or sorry, front, right, top multi-view drawings, and then throw in our isometrics as well. So if I click exit out here, we're going to click this little insert. And instead of parts, we're going to insert the assembly. And so it's going to take us a quick second to think. And we can see this is where I get to place my front view. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this front view right here. And then by default, it's going to let me choose the next position. And that's, I want to use the right view there. Okay, notice I can't select anymore. So I got the front, I got the right. What am I going to do next? And I'm just going to click on projected view again. We're going to project this front view up top. So now we have our front, right, and top views. All we need now is our isometric. So I'm going to click on my front view again, and then drag up to the top right, and we see our isometric, and everything is looking good. OK, so I'm not going to do much about dimensions in here, but what can we do next to make our drawing plot look a little more complete? And what I'm going to do is hit Escape on my keyboard, because I'm still in Project. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to click, uh, oh, I just lost it, show shaded view. There we go. And by showing that shaded view, we see not only the front, right, and top, but we see the isometric with its environment complete. And this helps us show that information just a little bit better. This is, by default, the standard for most drawing files, unless they're very specific. Um, and then what we're going to do later is we're going to personalize this title block to what we want it to say in specific to our school. All right, guys, there you go. We made our first assembly and then made our first drawing file with it as a whole class. If you have any questions, let me know. This is getting to some really interesting stuff. And so down the pipeline, we're going to start building our automatas. We're going to build some other interesting features. We're going to do you know, reverse engineering with sub-assemblies. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things coming down the pipeline. but we're going to take one step at a time with drawing files here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot more than you think. And until then, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.